Hello dear viewers, I am Masood Akhan, welcome you to watch Branding Bangladesh. Branding Bangladesh is a kind of show where you talk about Bangladesh's development over past few years. You have seen Bangladesh is emerging so quickly and that's why Bangladesh is called the fastest developing country in South Asia and in the world is third largest growing country. So with this, uh, today we have invited the ambassador of Italy, His Excellency Amba Ambassador. Uh, Enrico Nunziata. Hello Ambassador, how are Hello, you? Hello, fine, thank you. Very welcome to your studio. Thank you very much and for inviting S me. So how do you feel here coming to this Branding Maladies show? I feel very honored actually. So I'm uh, yeah. ready also to give my contribution in my evaluation of the country, talking about our uh, bilateral relations. Absolutely, absolutely. We'll be talking about uh, of course, bilateral relations, but before that, our program name is <laughs> Branding Bangladesh. Yes. So, if you could say something, how important this to the world is Branding Bangladesh or Branding Italy? Actually, branding is important I mean, for all countries. All countries have uh, a strategy for, uh, for branding. Branding means uh, authenticity. Branding means uh, uh, the resources of a country, the capability of a country, and of course, most of all means uh, identity of a country. So branding uh, uh, Bangladesh means to show to the world what are the resources of Bangladesh, what are the capability of Bangladesh, what opportunities can offer also to some other partner of development like Italy for instance. Absolutely. You are from developed part, you are the ambassador <laughs> of Italy. And Bangladesh is a country merely known as abroad that Bangladesh is a country of poverty, disaster, so many negativity. But Bangladesh, what you see, what you witnessing after coming here? I think that we have to face negativity, but we have to build on po positivity, on all Absolutely. positive aspects of, uh, of the country. And there are a lot of opportunities uh, that can offer also, I mean, uh, in cultural, in uh, social, and of course, also in uh, economics. So uh, for a country like Italy, for instance, Bangladesh is uh, the 11th, uh, uh, market for the, the Italian export in uh, uh, in Asia and in uh, uh, in the Pacific area, yeah. uh, and uh, of course, I mean we have uh, uh, strong relationships in uh, in the economic field. Yeah. Uh, if we look at our, uh, for instance, at our uh, uh, commercial exchange, that, mm. that is growing. I mean, uh, every year. We actually import much more than we export to Bangladesh, and this I'm is very positive. I'm this is very to positive for, First of for all, Bangladesh. my question is the diplomatic relation between Italy and Bangladesh. If you, you know, Italy something. is one of the first countries that are recognized uh, Bangladesh, so we have really a long uh, uh, relationship. Uh, Bangladesh is a, is a friendly country for, uh, for Italy. Uh, we have strong relationships uh, and uh, yeah. the fact that uh, I'm here in, uh, during my mission, I want to give my added value to boost this already excellent relationship that we have. Absolutely. Th thank you, Ambassador. And Italy-Bangladesh relation is uh, extremely important because as many as, um, you know, 800,000 or more than that people living in Italy, Bangladeshi people. Is one is one hundred thirty thousand? Yes. One hundred thirty thousand. Yes. So this is a good number of people living in Italy. Yes, of course. We must first of all value the positive effects of this uh, of this migration. The uh, Bangladeshi community in Italy is very integrated, mm -hmm. and uh, of course, uh, while we have to value the positive effects of uh, of migration, we have also be very, very, uh, let's say, cooperative uh, also in uh, facing the problems of uh, illegal migration and, and uh, of course, collaborate for uh, fighting against uh, trafficking uh, and smuggling of human, of human beings. This is also another part of, uh, let's say, of our collaboration in the migration policy. Of course, yeah. migration is always uh, positive when it is uh, regular, like in our, in our case. Uh, and with uh, positive effects for both, uh, for both countries. So it's really a very good uh, resource for our uh, economy because of uh, Bangladeshi True. community is very well integrated in our economy and is very important also for uh, the remittances, I mean, that comes from Italy. Only last year, mm -hmm. from Italy to Bangladesh, there were uh, 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 roughly 700 million of uh, euros of uh, remittances. So That's this great. is very yeah. important, I mean, uh, also very for important. Bangladesh. Ambassador, we must know that um, economic diplomacy is one of the very strongest diplomacy in the present world. 
So if you could say something about the economic relationship or trade relationship between Italy and Bangladesh. As I said uh, before, I mean, uh, uh, Bangladesh is one of the main uh, country of export uh, for uh, Italy in, uh, in uh, Asia. Uh, we exported the last year for uh, 800 million of uh, euros and we imported for uh, 1.4 billion of, uh, of euros. So you can imagine uh, how much is important for yes. us and for you Absolutely. I mean, uh, this, uh, this collaboration mm. in, uh, in uh, economics. Of course, Indeed. as you know, there are many br Italian brands that produce here and we re-import, of course, the garment. And, uh, so, but uh, the, 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 the sector, I mean, the main sector of export for, uh, for Italy is uh, instrumental uh, uh, mechanic. So all machineries for the textile. But I think that we, there we are, are importing from Italy. Yes, yes. Th is the 66 percent of our export to Bangladesh. So, but I think that there are many other uh, sectors that we should explore much more. That's why it's sure, important to brand, yeah. to brand Bangladesh in Italy in order to show what are the other opportunities for uh, for the Italian uh, for the Italian companies. Absolutely, absolutely, Ambassador. And again, uh, another issue is cultural bond or cultural relationship. Yeah. That is also important between the countries. So, if you could say something about the cultural exchange program, you know. Actually, uh, for uh, for uh, our program, I mean our integrated program, because uh, always you should uh, promote economics. I mean economic relationship. Yes. At the same time, also, I mean uh, some cultural uh, cultural events. We used to focus on the main uh, cultural events. For instance, this year marks also the uh, 500 years uh, from the death of uh, Leonardo da Vinci, oh, this uh, universal uh, genius. So we are Great. going to have uh, a film screening that has been realized only for uh, uh, that occasion to be held for on? this anniversary. Here in Bangladesh, of course, but these are already of, uh, okay. screened in other, uh, in other okay. countries, but okay. we want to organize also film okay. screening in uh, in. Uh, this will be in autumn, uh, but next year we have mm. the 500 years of, uh, from the death of uh, Raffaello Sanzio, mm. uh, and then uh, also 100 years from the birth of Federico Fellini, so we will uh, also uh, enrich our uh, uh, film festival movie nights also by screening some movies of Fellini. Excellent. So all are invited. Excellent, Master. <laughs> With this note, we are taking a short break. Dear okay. viewers, uh, we are taking a short break. Coming back soon. Please stay with us. <music> Dear viewers, you are watching Branding Bangladesh. Today you are talking to the ambassador of Italy. We are talking different issues. So, yes, ambassador. Education is also very important. Uh, educational cooperation between Italy and Bangladesh also. So, uh, I mean, in Italy, uh, Bangladesh students, like many other in, uh, foreign students, are uh, most than uh, welcome. I invited students that uh, wants to study in Italy to check our uh, website and website of, also of, of our Ministry of Education, uh, um, uh, University and uh, Research to see what are the guidelines, I mean, uh, to, to study in uh, Italy and how yeah. to get uh, a scholarship. Uh, also, another program very important is Erasmus Plus, that is a European Union uh, program, let's say, and there are, of course, a, a, a network of uh, Italian universities that uh, participate also in, uh, in this program. Yeah. And I know that this year already, I, I think, 26 students from uh, Bangladesh will uh, uh, will go and study having master training Great. in uh, Italian universities and in different uh, in different subjects. That is wonderful, wonderful. Well, Ambassador, we talked about uh, different uh, important issues, especially trade and diplomacy and other issues, economic diplomacy. We talked about cultural exchange. So, being an ambassador of Europe, I mean Italy, do you have any kind of special message for the young people? Because we are talking about the education, and Bangladesh is a country we have. Uh, <coughs> large number of young population here, 30 to 40 percent people are young of the country. So, you know. My message to young people uh, is to think mm. big, mm. to think in uh, a forward thinking, let's mm. say, because, I mean, must, they must be <coughs> ambitious, but mm. at the same time working hard to achieve uh, their own objectives. Absolutely. Nothing is given for granted. There is always a big work behind the person that has a success in, uh, in life. 
So my, uh, my message to young people is to try to be ambitious and to work hard. My next question is a very important question. Like, uh, you, I heard that you are going to form a chamber between uh, Italy yeah. Bangladesh. <laughs> uh, so if you could say something about it. I think that to promote uh, it, uh, the Italian, uh, um, let's say, companies in okay. Bangladesh, but at the same time also to let more know Bangladesh in, uh, in Italy, I think that we need to, let's say, join our efforts Absolutely. on a private level. Very so important. our companies must be united in a, in a way uh, and organized mm -hmm. in a joint association. So that's why it's not a chamber of commerce uh, uh, in itself, but will be much more a joint uh, as business association that I want to promote and I want to create. With uh, two main aims. One is, of course, to also to participate in a constructive way to mm. also to indicate how to create a conducive business environment in, uh, in Bangladesh and at the same time also to, let's say, promote also Italy and Bangladesh uh, in order that there will be more opportunities for uh, both uh, uh, the companies of both countries. Yes, yes Masrav, the another question is very important and burning question. Because Rohingya refugee crisis is one of the biggest challenges for Bangladesh. Yeah. And your country also helping this uh, uh, issue as well. So if you could say or give your remarks. First of all, uh, of course, we really appreciate the, the burden that uh, uh, the Bangladesh is, uh, is taking in hosting, I mean, uh, a so large number of uh, refugees uh, in, uh, in the Bangla more in than Bangladesh. More million, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, more than a million in Bangladeshi territory. Of course, as many other uh, uh, countries, we are also trying to do our uh, best and giving support. We, in particular, support some uh, UN agencies uh, uh, like WFP or IOM, but also, in particular, we support ICRC. Yeah. Uh, and uh, recently, I visited the, the, the camps and their activity, and I was really impressed on the level also of, uh, uh, you know, uh, of their yeah. Uh, of the, the activities. The activities and effectiveness of uh, their uh, their action there. That's very true. So, how do you think? I mean, Bangladesh is um, hosting a big number of people, and uh, how do you see? Like, uh, do you have any kind of message for the people of Bangladesh about in? I mean, in particular, because government is trying to help, and your <laughs> uh, government also helping us as well in this issue. So, do you think that the Myanmar should take back those people and you can give pressure to Myanmar as well. The integrated effort should need We to all believe that the solution, of course, is in Myanmar and that uh, there must be created, I mean, the condition for a, a safe and uh, return in dignity yes, of, uh, dignity, yes. of uh, refugees uh, uh, that wants to go back when there will be the conditions, of course, to, 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 to go back. And we all think that uh, the solution of this uh, uh, crisis is uh, in, uh, in Myanmar. So, so that respect, we need your support to push, you know, together. You know. We, uh, I mean, with uh, the international community, I think Italy, among other yes, countries, uh, uh, we are working on it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ambassador. And another issue is uh, very important that is called women empowerment, but women leadership. Is very important. And Bangladesh is uh, the role model for women leadership in the world. So, if you could say something about the women empowerment and women leadership, indeed. No, actually, it's very important to to give the opportunities to women to uh, to lead not only families but also uh, the the society and to be present in the prominent sectors of uh, the society. Their contribution will be essential. Will be uh, very important. Yeah. So true. So true. So, um, how do you think about women of Bangladesh? I mean, our Prime Minister is women, Speaker is women, Education Minister women, and many women are very important position in Bangladesh. So, how do you see? So, if you see the, how the country is going and growing, it means that uh, the leadership is very good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ambassador. So, with this note, Ambassador, let's take another break. Yes. Um, dear viewers, we're taking a short break. Coming back soon. Dear viewers, you're watching Branding Bangladesh. We are talking to the Ambassador of Italy. We talk to different issues, especially the bilateral issues, and Branding Bangladesh itself. How important it is today's world 
branding Bangladesh. So Ambassador said very uh, importantly that branding Bangladesh is extremely important for a Bangladesh, country like Bangladesh, to create the positive image abroad. So well, Ambassador, we talked education, we talked culture, we talked diplomatic relation, we talked about trade relation, economic relation, and women empowerment, so many issues we, we raise. Ambassador, I'd like to ask you another question, because for a country's, uh, you know, cooperation or development, I believe tourism is very important tools for development. And Italy and Bangladesh, if you could say about uh, the tourism cooperation between these two particular countries. Well, actually, I think that our tour operator should do something more to promote yeah. uh, uh, the, the both, uh, both countries. But actually, there is a flow of tourists. Uh, if we look at uh, uh, figures of uh, visas that, Correct. for instance, we issued uh, last year, there are around three, four thousand entries uh, per year uh, on tourism and uh, business. But always, you talk when about you go Bangladeshi for people business, going to Italy. Go, Bangladeshi people going to Italy. Okay. Um, of course, I mean we should also make some efforts to promote also the beauty of, uh, of Bangladesh yes, because absolutely. there are many absolutely. places that are really worth, worth it to, to be visited. Uh, I mentioned Cox Bazar, the longest beach in, uh, in the world, uh, the, the tea gardens in the northeast of uh, Bangladesh, but also the uh, Shundarban, no? the, yeah. the, 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 the forest. Uh, and so, I mean, the, uh, temples, mosques, um, mosques. So I, I, I think that there are a lot of uh, beautiful sites to be visited in Bangladesh. Uh, Ambassador, with this note, I'd like to ask you, Bangladesh is prevailing. A very con congenial atmosphere for the foreign investment. And uh, I'm sure through you, uh, I'm sure the Italian investor might invest here in Bangladesh because Bangladesh, uh, you know, the developing process is very quick. Yeah. So I'm sure the Italian investment could come in Bangladesh as well. I think that uh, there are some opportunities in infrastructure, in the energy sector. Yeah. So these will be two main sectors where I think that Italy can uh, really do um, play, play, play a role like, actually in, uh, in Bangladesh. As, as, as you told that about the food, so do you have any plan to organize any kind of food festival, Italian food festival here in Dhaka? Uh, um, yes. For the viewers, yes. There is, uh, every year we celebrate the, uh, the week of the Italian uh, cooking in the world. So uh, I okay. know that up Fantastic. to now we didn't uh, okay. celebrate any, uh, any um, of these uh, kind of event in, uh, in Bangladesh and uh, it's my intention okay. to, uh, to do it uh, at the end of November because this uh, uh, particular uh, uh, event uh, is uh, uh, mm. celebrated in uh, the last, the last uh, week of, uh, of November. So we'll be full of surprises. I mean, we will try to promote the Italian, uh, the Italian uh, cuisine, the Italian culture Italian cooking, in, in yeah, cooking. Cuisine. Uh, but also, of course, some Italian products, uh, main Italian products. We want to make some uh, show cooking. Uh, show cooking. And maybe you can host uh, in, uh, in uh, this sure. TV, also in my TV. Sure, also we one can do of that. Our, we have a our, uh, cooking show here event. as well. So definitely we'll be happy to do that, for sure. That will be my great. My TV will be your strong media partner as well. Okay, I'm, so sure. I'm glad for this. That will be fantastic, for sure, because we, my TV always believing in these international issues to rage here especially this branding Bangladesh issue, you know, which I'm sure that largely the international community will come to know about Bangladesh. Yes. And that is my TV does here. Thank you so much, Ambassador, and especially for giving us opportunity about hosting uh, the issue like cooking show. And my TV will be very honored and happy to host it this show. It will be our well. pleasure. <laughs> that will be excellent. I ask you that what impressed you a lot. And then my next question is, um, what do you think being a, Ambassador of Italy, um, what do you think that there is a huge room for development in this country? Of course, I mean the the figures demonstrates that there is a, there is a let's say uh, the country is developing very very fast in the different sectors. So the people are very active. Uh, I think that there yeah. is a uh, and also <coughs> skilled. Of course, I mean there are some sectors where these skills must. Be, skill is very important. Must yes, be, very uh, let's say, um, build 
uh, and so your country can support us uh, in a skills development program I as think well. that we already have uh, okay the, it, the mi migration I mean and also yeah. the, the the Bangladeshi national that live in Italy for instance if uh, we consider the 5,000 Bangladeshi that work for Fincantieri in the northeast of Italy okay. and they work in the uh, shipbuilding sector mm. this is a uh, really skilled people that can be also very important in our relationship in this, uh, in this uh, specific field if some investment can be done also in Bangladesh. Thank you so much. So my last but not least, Ambassador, the question is, do you have any special message or not for the people of Bangladesh? Uh, my message is to be resilient and to, be, to carry on uh, on a sustainable development and also to build up a society that is uh, free and uh, that is progressive. Ambassador, thank you so very much for coming to this show. Out of your very busy schedule, you happen to make it. Thank you so much, Ambassador. Thank we you. enjoyed your company. And uh, I'm sure um, you enjoyed too. Thank you our very show. much. Donobar. Our studio, our set, you enjoyed it. Our people. Sundarban. Sundarban. <laughs> thank you very much, Ambassador. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Dear viewers, um, you watched Branding Maladesh show. We are welcoming to invite our next show with another distinguished guest. Thank you very much for watching Branding Bangladesh. Thank you so much.